Hey, what's up, guys? I'm all back to a brand new video on the channel today. And today, guys, we have episode number two of the Napoli career mode on FIFA 21. Now, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on the previous episodes. Uh, I do appreciate it a lot. Uh, obviously, first video back in like five, six months. So I wasn't really expecting many people to turn up. Um, but I think it's it's on about 200 views. So for me, that I, I, I appreciate that a lot. And um, I hope you guys uh, continue to enjoy the series. So... We're not going to spend too long talking with an intro today. Um, what we're going to do is start off with a signing. Now, obviously, you, there's a few of you that suggested a few different di uh, types of players. Now, again, I'm not too sure who I want to start like start with signing because we, we don't have too much money and like player prices are pretty hard, um, are pretty high in on this FIFA. Um, so I've got I've got a few right backs now. Atal really interests me a lot. Uh, so does Mukiele, uh, Cancelo and Bellerin. I kind of had there before people suggested these uh, other two. So I'm going to remove Bellerin and Cancelo. Uh, I'm going to start off with trying to go for Atal, uh, just because he can play right wing as well. So he's a quite a versatile player. I think at right back because um, because he, he can play right wing as well and he's fairly quick. Uh, we're going to offer a transfer free. So he's worth twenty. Three. So I'm gonna offer 25, 25, and see if that's enough. 30 million. Okay, let's take that down to 26. Oh, didn't mean that. Uh, 26 will go for. Uh, let's try 26. See if they'll take that. 27. I mean, I'll accept 27. I'll take 27. That's not bad at all. So. We've got the negotiations done for the transfer of a towel. We just need to get the contract done now. Now, hopefully, he doesn't want too much. We do actually have quite a lot of transfer budget, uh, wage budget, as you can see, nearly five hundred thousand. So I'm not too worried about the actual wage bill. Uh, let's do four years because he's he's only twenty four, which uh, I do like the look of. No release clause. That's fine by me. Please. Is he going to ask? Okay, I thought he was going to ask what he wanted. So, he's already on 29. So, let's go for 35 grand a year. And let's give him a bonus of, say... Signing on, but I don't... Normally, I'm not very good at, like... Let's go, like, 160 grand. That might be too less. That's reasonable. Okay, so I probably gave him too much, but... It doesn't matter, because our first signing of the first career mode of FIFA 21 is done. A tower is in the squad... Now, uh, Di Lorenzo, I'm going to put him on the bench. I'm going to put take Heijer off uh, and put Heijer in the reserves just because he's a bit older. Uh, Atal goes straight into the lineup, as you can see there. Now, next question is, who do you want to replace? Now, I'm tempted to go for Witzel in the CDM role. Very tempted by him. If we just save that, very tempted to sign um, Witzel. I'll go over now and just let's just have a little look because Witzel he is worth he is 31 but he has got that experience um but Kamavinga is he's young and he's 17 and he probably is gonna be cheaper you know what I'm gonna take a punt at Kamavinga and see if we can get him because he's because he seems fairly cheap I'm gonna try and get him he's only 17 and he's already 76 overall him and Fabian or Fabian Fabian would be perfect together in the midfield so he's 15.5. So we just offer 15.5. Now they're probably going to come back with like 50 million. All right, 20 more million. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to accept that. Oh no. I probably could have got that cheaper. I did not mean to accept that. Oh no, we've kind of messed up there, guys. Um, unfortunately, there. It doesn't matter though. We'll still go for him, but we could have got him for a bit cheaper. Um, important player or rotation? Yeah, now nah, he'll, he'll be starting for us. So, happy with that. Five-year deal. Yep. Uh, disregard. Now, salary. Let's just put him on 20 grand a year and we'll give him a 50 grand bonus. Boom. And I, he's, hey, he's only 17, so you can't really complain with that. Kamavinga, next signing in the squad now that means Zielinski goes to the bench I'll keep back Yoko on the bench um I don't I don't really yeah let's get Kamavinga in there now that those two together look very promising and I'm very excited with that play Kamavinga on the I'll ah, we'll keep him on the left so 
for now, that's how the team is. Now, we, we obviously could upgrade... Oh, I pressed no by accident. <laughs> we could easily get a new keeper. Uh, Kepa was suggested. And apparently Kepa's decent in game. Obviously not in real life at the moment. So, I am tempted. But at the moment, we'll keep it like that. We could do with another striker, you know. Because Milik, you know, he's not the greatest of players. Politan is alright for a right wing option. Again, we've got Atal who can be versatile. So we could have to look for maybe someone further up the field. Anyway, we're going to now move into the next game, or the first game essentially, of the season, which is that Supercopa against Juventus, against the, the Cup winners and the League winners. So but I'm actually going to play that game. So that's going to be our first game of the, technically, of the series, uh, you know, in the preseason games that I actually play. And yeah, let's just jump straight into that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Right then, guys. Milik has just... We've just received an offer of 30 million from Atletico Madrid for Milik. Now, he's 26. And now, I don't know if I want to take this. I am very tempted to take this. Now, I know... Let me negotiate and see if we can get a bit more money for him. Let's see, because I, I know he's, he's only 26, but like that money could really help us in improving the team all around the area. Let's just see if they would take 35 million. Would they take 35 million? 31. Counter, let's go... 32. Okay, 31. I'll take 31. Now it's down to the player. Anyway, I'll, I'll come back to that once the deal either goes through or he uh, rejects them. Right then, guys. Before we could get into the game or the Milik deal, uh, Di Lorenzo, uh, offer from Leicester. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to negotiate it because I want to try and get more money. I, I probably don't want to sell him. That's why I'm going to put like a ridiculous offer, like 20 million or something like that. Just because... Um, I don't, I don't really want uh, to sell him. Let's just go... Let's go 17. They'll definitely say no to that. 11. Okay, so they're actually upping the price here. Let's counter that. Because we got Malquit. Um, let's go 14. We got that Malquit uh, on the res in the reserve. So I could actually just use him instead. 12 million. Let's go 13. And then meet in the middle. Meet in the middle. No? Oh, wow. Okay, so they don't want him. And that's it done. So we're not going to sell him in this deal with Leicester. Um, so I'll jump into the next highlight of the episode. As you can see, guys, Milik has been sold. We've been given 27 million now in the bank balance. So let's go over to transfer. How much do we have rating-wise and money-wise? 44 million again. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to have to try and get a striker in, which here you can see, striker... Now, Jesus, like, he's way too expensive, though. That's the only problem. We kind of just want... I would love someone that can go up top really quick. Who can just be a super sub, to be honest. Uh, and Bolo, he's always, he's always pretty good on FIFA. Anyway, we're going to have to go and uh, do some digging for a striker. And uh, I will be back with the next highlight of the episode. Right then, guys. Another massive offer has come in. 88 million for a 29 year old Koulibaly. Let's negotiate that. Um, that is an insane offer for someone that's 29 years of age. Imagine the money we can use. Imagine we could. Like, I'm going to go for 100 million. Straight off the bat, 100 million. They're probably going to say no straight away, but let's see. They're willing to pay 100 million for Koulibaly. Oh my god, I didn't think he was going to say yes. A hundred million for Koulibaly. Do you know what we can do with this money? We can change Napoli's whole squad, let alone two players. Oh my god, this is insane, guys. I'm going to come back to this deal to make sure it goes through. It, it, I could get really slated for this in the comments, but a hundred million for a 29-year-old... Um, well, we can just go and get a youngster, which is probably better for half the price. 
I mean, I'm not going to complain. Anyway, let's see if he does go off to Real Madrid in uh, oh, the next bit of the episode. I don't know if it'll be, it will be the next bit. It could be the U of A game. Anyway, let's see. As you can see, guys, Koulibaly has been sold. Now, it's probably the worst time to sell him before the UV game. I've just realised that. Um, 92 million goes into the bank. So how much money do we have now? 136 million. Oh my god. Now, we can do some serious damage with this, um, with this money. Like, I'm talking... I mean, uh, we could do some serious... Let's just go have a little look at someone like... Virgil van Dijk. He's 29 though, actually. Why would I even want to go... I want, I want to get someone young in. Someone like Joe Gomez, maybe. Uh, Joe Gomez. Where's Joe Gomez? How much is Joe Gomez worth? 44 million right anyway i need you guys now to comment some center backs in the description uh, in the comment section sorry because we're gonna have to um try and get ourselves a center back but now we have the freedom to go sign players like kepa guy was another one that was quite highly requested uh, oh zagadu now he did get suggested by one of you guys and i'm actually gonna go submit a bid in i completely forgot to add into the shortlist Someone did suggest him in the comment section. Now, how much is he worth? 30 million? You offer 28, see what they say to that. 33. Yeah, let's bring that down a bit. Do 31 and a half. See what they say to that. Yes, they'll take that. And I'll take that. Because he's a very good player. I've used him before in career mode. Very, very good player. Now, him and Manolas together would be absolutely insane. He's like a younger version of Koulibaly, who's up and coming. Important player, yeah, he'll be starting. He'll be starting for us four years. Yeah, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, disregard that, that's fine. Now, he's on 35 already. Let's up him to 40. And we'll give him a... Let's give him a nice little 150 bonus. Make, make him feel welcomed. Make him feel welcomed. 40 grand a week. And he'll take that all day of the week. Now, he signed. Let's get him into the starting 11. Him and Manalas together at the back. Great signing, in my opinion. Uh, where is he? Let's get him in there. Uh, put him back down to there. But now, we just need that um, backup striker, don't we? Backup striker. And obviously, as you've seen on the shortlist... I did, I did have some uh, options down here. And Bolo, 20 million. Fang Yi Chan, he's very cheap. And he's very quick on this game. Very quick. Look how quick he is. I might, Fang Yi Chan, for a backup striker, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Now, nah, I want to I wanna negotiate to try and get him a bit cheaper. Because he is going to be a backup striker for Oshimen. Let's see. I just love this part of the, this part of a, of a career mode where you can just go and spend so much money. Uh, let's do 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Let's see what they say to that. No. Oh, God, that's embarrassing. Well, we're going to have to wait for him to come back. Um, anyway, let's move on into the game against Juve now. We've done enough transfers for this episode. I'm going to let you guys suggest more players. Don't worry. I am going to look at these left backs, uh, Kepa, and these players... I just don't want to sign too many players um, in one episode. So make sure you guys drop me some centre-back suggestions. Uh, we've got our right-back now. Uh, strikers. Backup striker or a starting striker. You never know. Uh, in the comment section. And then even just any any forward players. Like a cam, left wing. Because we don't really have much squad depth. Um, but anyway, we're going to jump into the game against Juve now. So let's see how we get on in our first game of the season. Right, guys, obviously got to join the press conference for the first game or the or the the, the big game against uh, Juventus. So, is Atal ready to make an impact? Um, that's got something to prove. He does have something to prove. So, we'll make sure he can in the next game. Zagadou, what's he? Is Zagadou ready to make an impact? So, it's the same question. Um, I'm going to say the same thing. He does have something to prove because he's obviously a new player. And we've just signed him. Don't say he's going to say the same thing. I mean, I'm going to say the same thing again. He does have something to prove. 
Why why does he deserve to start? Why do all three of them deserve to start over the players that I already have? That's it for the questions. Let's jump into the game right now. Right then, guys. Cup final time. Here we go. Now. Let's see how we do. My first game of career mode properly. I haven't really played career mode, to be honest. I played, I've made a Chelsea one for myself. I played one game, I think. Uh, we are on Legendary. I don't know if this is going to be too easy or too hard, to be honest. Because, like I said, I've hardly played against the AI or career modes um, yet. But we're playing against Juve. Tough opposition. Um, in this Super Copper, Super Cop, Super Cop. I don't know what it actually is. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we can get a win. They come Juve already. Morata. Well played from Insigne. He's going to keep that in. He does. Zagadou. First touches for him in a Napoli shirt. Same with Kamavinga. Mertens now. Oshimen. Down to Mertens. Oh, can he play Oshman? Oh, that's a great ball. Can he square that too? Oh, I think. Who was that at the back post? Lozano. Couldn't get onto the end of it. Come Juve, Ronaldo through ball to Morata. Morata st stops, turns, man, that's a great block. Good defending from him. Corner for Juve. Artur, that's a terrible corner. Good header from Lozano. Manalas, the one chasing it. He's actually going to get there ahead of Delict. I don't know what Delict's doing. Inside to Insigne. Mertens now. Oshimen. Oh, what the hell? I don't know why he's played that pass. Anyway, that was poor from Mertens, but we've started off pretty slowly, not going to lie. Morata now. Ronaldo. Free ball to Morata. That's 1 0 to Juventus, and that's not good defending from me. Oh, I just kind of let Ronaldo play that ball through. And, oh, look at that defending. He's not tracked at all. And we're 1-0 down already against Juventus in the 15th minute. Mertens has got a lot of space here. Insigne's waiting for that run. He's made it. Could be offside. He's not. Can he square it to Lozano? Oh, he just couldn't get the ball to him. Oh, my God. What is that? I did not mean to play it that good. Anyway, we've got the ball now. Mertens again. Lovely. Oshimen, ah, oh, couldn't find Merton to that pass. Oh, I was going to try and pass it to him, but he didn't really make the run. Oshimen again. Ah, oh, he's got tackled. Quadrado on the right wing now. Cuts it back to Morata. Plays it back to Quadrado. Squares it. Good defending from Atal. He's had a very solid game in his first game for the club. Oshimen now. Needs some options here. Can he play it? Oh, Oshimen, that's not a good ball. Atal now. Coming down the wing, inside. Oshimen. Mertens, ball roll. Oshimen's through. No, I didn't mean to do... Oh, I, I didn't really know what to do. There's no one in the box, really, to pick out a pass. And we waste that chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. Juve have just scored from that free kick. It hit the wall, and I didn't think anything was going to happen at all. Hit the wall and it's bounced back to a free man. Oh my god. It's 2 down now. And it's not looking good at all for us. Mertens. Oh, can he switch that to Lozano? That is a great ball. Here comes Lozano now. He's got the pace. Lozano. Oh, he's got tackled by Sandro. Corner. Can we do something here with this? Ball's whipped in from Insigne. Not a bad ball at all. Ah, it's just gone. I'm going to make a sub now. Now, the only problem is I'm not sure who I'm going to bring on. I'm going to bring on Politano at Cam for Mertens. What's wrong with Lozano? Why has he got the little thing next to his name? I kind of want to bring this Della Luca on as well. I'm bringing Zielinski on for Kamavinga. He's on a yellow card as well. You know what? Now, nah, I'm going to keep him on, actually. Corner now. Can we get something from this? Insigne. Oshman's there. Oh, it's gone wide. It's another corner, though. We're getting him into the right areas. Oshman. Oh, he's put it wide. Zielinski's through. Zielinski, can he get the shot away? Great save from Chesney. Can we get the rebound with Lozano? No. 
Oh, it's so close. We're making the chances now. Oshimen, he's offside, isn't he? He's not. He wasn't offside. No. Why did I do that drag back? He wasn't even offside. He wasn't even offside. That's going to be full time, I think, Lozano. Yeah, full time. And we've lost to Juve in the final. First proper game of the season. And we've lost it. Here come Juve to win, lift up the trophy. We, we played terrible. It is going to take some getting used to playing against the AI on Legendary. And also against... Um, just playing against the AI and playing with this team in general. Oh, really annoying to lose that. I can't believe that. We had some, we had a few chances as well in the game, which is kind of annoying. And the goals they scored was a, a pretty annoying, to be honest. And there you go. Chiellini lifts the trophy. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Comment your transfer suggestions. As always, uh, a striker, centre-back and maybe a left wing because we don't really have much depth on the no, a left or right wing or a cam because we kind of need some squad depth off the bench because obviously we got Insigne Mertens pretty old and um yeah coming off the you can tell in that game they're quite tired quite late on uh, anyway thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace